hello my friends in today's video we are going to edit this flower i took this flower photo this morning right after rain and uh, we will be editing into something like this now for today's edit i will do something a little bit different i will be editing this into lightroom and photoshop but then hold on don't click out yet i will also edit it in luminar neo so you can see how it goes in each one of the programs if you're only interested in seeing this edit in luminar neo i would leave the time code below and you can skip right to that part so i will start with lightroom and photoshop and then i will do it in luminar neo so if you want to see just the luminar neo go in the description below also um, i will have two um, files for you to download for today's video so you can follow along uh, you will get this gradient that I will be using and that what's in the description below as well. Get the gradient and the flower photo. That way you can do exactly what I'm doing and learn my thought process and how I'm doing it. This is might not be the right way, but this is the way I'm doing it. And you might learn something today. So let's start with Lightroom. So here is my image. This is a raw image. And first I will start by cropping it. I want to get rid of this little white part over here that was from a different flower. And also I just want to put this big flower into the rule of thirds. When I saw this flower this morning, it just kind of reminded me of a ballerina. These petals looked like the tutu, like the veil of a tutu. And I really like this water drop over here. So this is where I focused when I took the photo. Now let's do just a basic edit i'm gonna add a little bit of contrast i'm gonna take the highlights just a little bit down open the shadows just a tiny little bit maybe add a little bit of texture a little bit of clarity and for the masking if you hold down option on the mac and you move the sharpening to the right you will see a mask and i'm only sharpening the edges i do not want to sharpen the background or the flower and then I will remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. This is pretty much all the edits I will do here. And then I will go to Photoshop. To move this photo into Photoshop, I will click Command E. And that will transfer my image into Photoshop. My computer is going a little bit slow because I think I have like a million programs opened. So there is my image. And now I do see a big spot over here. I don't know where that's coming from, but I will use this patch tool, click on it, and then just circle my spot and drag it over and then command D to deselect. And it's gone. Now let's move into that gradient. Like I said before, I have the gradient in the description below. You can just go and download it there. For me, I will just apply it from my gradients library that I have a whole bunch of gradient libraries. I use gradients all the time and it's one of my favorite tools for color grading. So there you go. I will be using this one. I'll click OK on that and on this one. And now I'm going to change the blending mode because remember, I don't like that. Um, I should have said this before. Hold on a second. Let me turn this off. The one thing I don't like about this image is that there's too big of a contrast between the flower and the background. And I want to lighten that background and bring in some color. And one way to do that is by applying this gradient and changing the blending mode to screen. And this will lighten the whole thing. Now that's a little bit too milky. So I will reduce the opacity to about, let's see, something like... 32%. Then I have this handy little mask. I will click on the mask and with B for the brush tool. And here's my color swatches. Right now I have white and black. To toggle between the two of them, I'll press X. And now I'm using black. And if you know how to use mask, then you know the black hides and white reveals. So with my brush, I am going to choose an opacity of 50% over here. And I want to uh, erase 50% of this effect onto my flower. I still want to keep 50% because if I remove the whole thing, 
they're just there's gonna be no harmony in there they just don't go together and we want them to be happy together we want the background and the flower to be really happy and like each other so we are erasing 50% of it something like that and that is a little bit too milky so the way to add a little bit of contrast is duplicate this um, gradient for doing that I will click command J and now I will erase the mask because I don't need that mask and I'm going to change the blending mode to soft light and then maybe even increase the opacity to 100%. Maybe 100% is too much. Let's do 78%. And that looks good, good to me. Let's see our image. This is the before. This is the after. Before and after. And I like that. Let's move on into Luminar Neo and see how we do the same exact edit on Luminar Neo. Now here we are on Luminar Neo and I will start with the crop tool, just like we did in Lightroom. I'll keep the same proportions, just kind of crop in a little bit, accept the, cha the changes and then, you see this is a raw image, we are in Develop Raw, I am going to just do a little bit of maybe smart contrast, take down the highlights, open the shadows a little bit, not too much. And that's pretty much it for the edit. Let's go straight to the color grading part. And for this one, remember that gradient I told you to download in the description below? Well, now we will add that gradient. We'll go over here on the left side where it says layers, click on the plus and then I already have it loaded, but if you don't have it loaded, click on load images, find your gradient where you have it on your computer, click it and open it. It says that I already have it. I'll click replace. So there you go. Now it is into my images. In order to apply it as a layer, you have to double click it. So there you go. And now I will increase the opacity hundred percent. Now you can see that is my gradient and change the blending mode from normal to screen because I do want to brighten that background. And reduce the opacity now until it looks good to me. Maybe something like that. I do not want to bleach my flower too much so I will take the eraser tool with maybe 50% or so opacity and I'm just gonna erase it from my flower so I can get a little bit more details and not get my flower too bleached out. So let's see. Just roughly, you don't have to be too precise. We'll just go something like that. That looks good. Now I do want to add a little bit more contrast. And because of that, I will apply that gradient one more time. So click on the plus. Now we already have the gradient in our My Images. So just double click on it, increase the opacity to 100%, you will see that's the same gradient, and I will change the blending mode to soft light. And that should give us more contrast, let's see. This is our before the soft light, and this is our with soft light. And that looks good to me. Now I just want to darken the image a little bit, it's still a little bit too bright. So I will go to, first I have to go into my main layer, not my gradient. And then I'll go to develop and I'll go into my curved and just drag it down a little bit, just to darken it a little bit. So let's see our Photoshop version looked something like that. And our Luminar version looks something like that. Maybe even instead of just dragging it down, add a little bit of S curve just to create a little bit more contrast. Maybe something like that. Maybe that's too bright, take down the brights a little bit. And that looks good to me. This is how I would edit this flower photo into Lightroom and Luminar Neo. 
Please let me know in the comments below if you prefer Luminar Neo tutorials or Lightroom or Photoshop. And um, yep, that's about it for today. My name is Skylar Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.